in Wisconsin, how are you tracking the legislature's willingness to make those changes? How are the grassroots efforts to try to get legislators on board with ending this indiscriminate mailing of ballots? So the biggest problem in Wisconsin right now is Speaker of the Assembly, Robin Voss. So he will not advance legislation that will remove the WEC administrator, the Wisconsin Election Commission's administrator, who under her watch is where all the fraud happened in 2020. She's still there and she's still going to do it. What's the speaker's Voss, basis for this, for blocking it? What argument is made? Uh, he, I, you know, he doesn't have any real good arguments other than what he says is, well, we don't know who will get in there or uh, we don't need to change it this soon or something along those lines. But really what I think it is, is that I think he's got a financial connection to a vendor that the Wisconsin Elections Commission is using. Oh, so you think and this so is corrupt? I think I think there's a level of corruption there. There's really no other way to explain it. How do you, as a Republican, leave the woman in charge of your elections who let who suspended voting deputies at nursing homes where they forced people to vote? We have videos of people in nursing homes that said we had we were told we had to vote Joe Biden or we couldn't live here any longer. That happened under her watch. So if the you if know, the speaker is doing this and if you perceive that there could be some potential self-dealing feature to this. Um, are, are there other lawmakers that are standing up to the speaker and are working to advance this? Yes, Representative uh, Janelle Branchen uh, from Wisconsin has been leading the fight up there. She led the fight on the election uh, uh, investigation that the House did, their House did up there. And she's the one who's actually proposed legislation to remove Megan, Megan Wolf through impeachment, which they can do. They have every, every ability to do that. And the speaker will not let that resolution be called to the floor so they can impeach in the House. And they hold a majority in the Senate. And the Senate's already, um, you know, they've already tested the waters and they'll have the votes in the Senate. But it's Robin Voss who's stopping it. Personnel is policy, particularly when it comes to election integrity. We knew this in Florida when we had supervisors of elections who were breaking the law, who had been subject to judgments that they had violated the state constitution on transparency requirements. Ron DeSantis took the oath of office, and then fired the supervisors of elections in Broward and Palm Beach County for their wicked ways. And the result was everybody else cleaned up their act a little bit because you got the sense that you weren't going to just be able to break the law and keep your cushy six-figure job as a supervisor of elections. And we're all the better for that decision. So I would encourage folks, you know, whether it's in Wisconsin, Georgia, anywhere really, if you have officials who are operating like outside of the color of law in their actions, you have to use the tools that are available for legislative removal, executive removal, whatever you have to do. And what you'll find is if you do that with a few folks, you will raise the floor. You will raise the behavior uh, of everybody. So uh, I hope that that, that, that uh, is something that the Wisconsin legislature takes real seriously. Um, just final question. Well, I'll, let me add please, this. Please, please. Let me add this real quick if I could. Please. Um, there's a recall effort underway in Wisconsin to recall Voss out of his position as the Senate uh, or as the Speaker of the House to just take him out of the House completely. So if you have listeners that are in Wisconsin, please get out there and support that effort and, you know, get signatures. So uh, we believe that Voss is a very much an anti Trumper. He said he'll do everything in his power to keep Trump from getting reelected. And so let's just get rid of him. We think we have the votes if we can get the signatures. Well, uh, certainly if someone is standing in the way of good policy and if, if there's any connection to self-dealing, uh, that, that would be a warranted endeavor. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel with notifications turned on. You won't want to miss any of the breaking news.